thank you for inviting us to testify very briefly and also to make an introduction. I'm a, as the chairman mentioned, I represent uh, Michigan, a Great Lakes state. Uh, invasive species have done severe damage to our Great Lakes as well as to the land mass of Michigan. Uh, everything from zebra mussel, which a number of you have mentioned, to the emerald ash borer, which are destroying ash trees. We've had 180 invasive species identified in the Great Lakes alone. Um, I was going to, I was thinking about bringing in a zebra mussel, by the way, but then I had word that Senator Nelson might bring in an exhibit which would make our poor zebra mussel look <laughs> so, so puny by comparison that you would think it wouldn't be a problem. So uh, um, we decided. <laughs> Let me just mention, I'm not going to tell this panel and these two subcommittees about the problems of invasive species. You all know them. You have them in your states. You've all made reference to them in your opening statements. Um, I'll just reinforce one point that you've made, which is the universality of the problem, at least in terms of all of our states. The zebra mussel started in the Great Lakes. Thirty states are now infested with zebra mussels. Um, like global warming, these things don't stay in one place. Secondly, the solution, at least one of the key remedies, lies in your hands. And that is to adopt a significant ballast water treatment technology requirement for our ships. Most of our invasive species in the Great Lakes come in, in the Great Lakes states, come in through the water. And in the ballast is our invasive species that come in from other places. And when that ballast is exchanged in the Great Lakes, it drops these invasive species in the Great Lakes, including the zebra mussel. You've had under your consideration, as has the Commerce Committee had under consideration for many years, bills which would require ships to have new technologies to destroy the species instead of just being to remove or transfer ballast from salt water to fresh water and so forth, but to actually have a technology to destroy the species. There's been a conflict in two bills. One bill basically, which I, th I think has been favored by many members on this, on these, on this committee and these two subcommittees, which would allow the states to adopt a higher technology over the years uh, than the national standard, which we would start with. The Commerce Committee, and I don't want to generalize here because I'm not sure it applies to every member, but in general, there's a Commerce Committee bill, I'll identify it, which says we're going to have a national standard. And we're then going to let that standard apply for a reasonable period of time without the shipping companies facing the possibility that states will up the ante this is a traditional conflict. It's not the first time that we face this kind of a conflict. We have it all the time. But it needs to be resolved. And I believe the right resolution is for us to adopt a tough national standard and then to give the shipping industry a period of repose. They'll be guaranteed there's not going to be any increase in that standard for a reasonable period of time. That's not the bill which many members of this committee have favored. But that's the conflict which needs to be resolved. I've taken a position on it, which is, by the way, different from the position, I think, of my own legislature, which would like the state to be able to have a higher standard. A year from now, you have shipping companies put in expensive technologies this year, and then a year from now, any one of the states can say, oops, there's a new technology. We want you to adopt the new one. We're never going to get this accomplished unless we adopt a national standard and let it stick for a reasonable period of time, whether it's five years or 10 years. I would urge the members who are considering this to consider that option. But it's in your hands. This conflict is, needs to be resolved between these two bills. And again, the position I've taken is not my own state's legislature's position. Having said that, I'm really here to make an introduction, not to lobby my colleagues. Um, I want to introduce uh, a, a panelists who will be on the second panel, uh, Rebecca Humphrey. She's the director of the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. Um, 
She worked her way up through the ranks of the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. She has more than 30 years experience in the field. She has considerable knowledge uh, on the impacts of invasive species and disease on native wildlife. Uh, she has served in recent years as chair of the Fish and Wildlife Health Committee of the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies. So she has a lot of information. She's tackled issues in Michigan involving in, uh, invasive species such as VHS, chronic wasting disease, emerald ash borer, and so forth. So she's gonna have a lot of valuable information uh, for these uh, two committees that meet today. We're grateful for your doing what you're doing. And uh, I know that you are willing to excuse me and I appreciate that. And, uh, I've talked to Senator Nelson about his testimony, and I agree with everything he says for what that's worth. <laughs> and I'm glad this damn python is a long way from where we live. And I don't. I Senator Levin, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on this subject with us, and we appreciate your your testimony.